We're now going to use this interactive teaching program called Calculating Angles. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use three triangles. Just looking at these triangles, can you tell me what type of triangles they are? Is it an isosceles triangle? Yeah, there's three isosceles triangles. And the triangles have been placed into the centre of this circle. Now you can see three question marks on the triangles and there's one question mark in the blue part of the circle there. Look at those angles in the triangles. Estimate the size of them. How big do you think they are? Vicky, just write it into this angle just here. So, Vicky's estimation is 80 degrees. Is there anybody else in the room who's had an estimation of 80 degrees? OK. <coughs> now, we can check it just like we did in the, the previous programme. We can find a protractor just by clicking this button here, and a protractor comes up, just like it did in the previous programme. And I'm going to drag that across into the correct position. And we can turn it to measure the angle. OK. Who can tell me what this angle measures just by looking at the protractor now? Beth? It's 75. It's 75. So Vicky's guess wasn't that far off. Let's have a look at the second angle then, the one in the middle. We've, we've measured the angles in the triangles. We've got this one big blue angle left over here. Now remember, these three angles, this angle was 54 degrees. Make a note of this on your whiteboard, it's really going to help you. The middle angle was 69 degrees. And can anyone remember what the first angle was? Vicky, can you? Was it 75 You're absolutely degrees? right. It was 75 degrees. So think about those three. Write them down if you need to. They're going to really help you work out the final answer. Right, OK, Jordan, have you got the right answer for this then? Is it 162 degrees? I think it is 162 degrees, but can you explain to everyone else how you got to the answer of 162? I added up the 54, the 69 and the 75, which equaled to 198, and then I took 198 from 100, 360, which equaled out to 162 degrees. I hope you all heard that, because he's absolutely right. It's a really, really clever way of doing it. But just answer me with this one question. Why did he take, when he added up all, all the, the angles that we'd measured, he took it away from 360. Why did he do that? Michael, can you tell me? Because there's 360 degrees. There's in 360 the total degrees circle. in a circle. You're absolutely right. So in a total circle, there's 360 degrees.